In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this game, where you control this little character sprite as he moves to collect the falling fruit. Let's get started. So on Make Code Arcade, go to New Project and give it a name. I'm going to call it Catch the Fruits. Let's spawn in a sprite, go to Sprites, set my sprite to the kind player, and on the grey block, click on it, go to the gallery at the top, and then choose a sprite that you'd like the look of. I'm going to go for this guy here. When you've selected one, go to the very bottom right of the screen and press the green Done option. Under Controller, get Move My Sprite with Buttons, and we only want it to move left and right, so if we press the plus option here, we can get rid of this VY option and set it to zero, because VX is left and right, and VY is up and down. You'll notice though, if you try to move your sprite at the moment, he falls off the screen. So the easiest way to do that is under sprites, if we scroll down to stay in screen, and put that in, whenever you try to move into the edge of the screen now, he'll get stuck on the edge. Let's get the position fixed now. So under sprites, get set my sprite position, and then you can put in numbers, but it's easier just to click on the number and the screen pops up. You can now just click where you want your sprite to be, which is in the middle and near the bottom. There he is. Next, let's get a background image. So under scene, get set background image, press on the gray block, go to the gallery and choose something you like. I'm gonna go with the forest today. Once you've selected it or you've made your own, go to the very bottom right and press done. Next, let's get the pieces of fruit falling in. So under game, get on game update every 500 milliseconds, which is the same as half of a second. If you want to see the options, just press the drop down arrow and have a look. I'm going to keep it at half a second for now. Go back to sprites and get another sprite. So set my sprite to, but you'll need to change the kind to something other than the player. I'm going to keep it as food. And then on the grey block, you can draw your own or go to gallery and choose a tasty piece of fruit. I'm going to go with this nice healthy strawberry. In the very bottom right, press done. And then you'll notice that it spawns in the centre of the screen time and time again. So that's multiple strawberries stacking up on one another. Let's get it positioned across the top. So on sprites, go to set my sprite position and you'll need to change it to my sprite 2 or whatever you've named your strawberry to. Since the top of the screen is always going to be fixed at zero in the Y position, it's this X value that we need to randomize and make it random. So under the math option here on the list at the left, if we get pick random, zero to 10, there's two ways of doing this. We could either go from zero to 160, that's the size of the screen, but an even quicker or easier way is to go to Scene, grab Screen Width, and drop it there. This is also better because some screens um, have a slightly bigger or smaller screen width as well. You'll now notice they spawn across the top. So let's get them falling down. Under Sprites, get Set My Sprite Velocity, that's the speed. Change it to My Sprite 2, or again, whatever you've called your fruit. And then change the VX to 0 to stop it moving diagonally and leave VY at 50 so that they fall down. So at the moment, if you try to play the game, you'll notice that you can move your character and the strawberries don't do anything at the minute. So let's set that up now for the overlaps. So go to sprites, scroll down to near the bottom and get on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind player. And we need to change one of these to food. So I'm going to do it with a second one. Now I guarantee this is where mo now now I guarantee this is where many people go wrong. We need to destroy the strawberry, so we need to get from sprites, we get destroy my sprite, but lots of people make the mistake of changing this to my sprite 2 or whatever they've called the strawberry. That's not how this works. This block detects whenever the player overlaps the other kind, which is the food, and it's that unique individual sprite. So that's why we need to get the other sprite red block here and drag that to the destroy. 
press the plus arrow and then you can add an effect. If you need to throw anything away, just take the old item, put it back onto the menu and you'll notice a bin appears. When it turns red, drop it in there and now it's thrown away. So this will destroy the other sprite, which is the fruit. I want it to play a sound. So under music, grab sounds, play sound bidding until done and change that to in background. Then, if you want it to give yourself a point for this, go to Info and get Change Score by 1. And then, lastly, to give yourself a countdown timer that you can start with, under Info, go to Start Countdown. It'll be default to 10 seconds, and I like to change that to roughly about 30 seconds. There we go. And there is our fully functioning working game. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.